Historic gun safety legislation is now law. President Biden signing the bipartisan bill today at the White House before leaving for Europe. The measure doesn't go as far as the president had hoped, but he's hailing it as progress. Here's ABC's Alex Prichet. Tonight, the country's first major gun safety law in nearly 30 years. God willing, it's going to save a lot of lives. President Biden signing the Safer Communities Act just before his trip to Europe, the culmination of bipartisan negotiations in Congress moved by the deadly mass shootings in Buffalo and Texas. Their message to us was do something. How many times have you heard that? Just do something. For God's sake, just do something. Well, today we did. Biden's praised the legislation despite it not including everything he's called for. The more than $13 billion package enhances background checks for gun buyers under 21. It expands the category of domestic violence abusers banned from buying a gun. It gives incentives for states to pass red flag laws and gives funds for intervention, school security and mental health services. The act does not include a ban on assault weapons, nor does it raise the age limit on buying them from 18 to 21. The law was dependent on bipartisan support. Senators involved in negotiations called it a goal, not a guarantee. In the end, it had enough Republican votes in both the House and Senate. Applause broke out Friday as Speaker Nancy Pelosi called the vote. And today, hours after the gun reform law was signed, the last of the Uvalde victims was laid to rest. Ten-year-old Usia Garcia. Remembered for his contagious laugh, shaggy hair, and silly jokes. That community is still devastated by this tragedy. Alex Perche joining us now. Alex, that vote coming on the heels of a major gun rights ruling by the Supreme Court, striking down a New York state law that required anyone seeking to conceal carry a handgun show proper cause. We know New York and seven other states have these requirements. How are they responding tonight? Well, when many of these states are now rushing to revise their rules and their laws. New Jersey's governor has signed an executive order uh, to see which areas can be designated as gun-free sensitive places, including hospitals, courthouses, and public transit. And then New York's governor has called for a special legislative session to limit where concealed carry is allowed and wit. That session will take place next week. Okay, Alex, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.